Action. I've got Mark Rubin, the executive producer of Modern Warfare 3, here to join us, uh, alongside Vince Fennell, the associate producer, uh, who's here to actually play the game for us so that Mark can concentrate on telling us all about Modern Warfare 3. Mark, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks all right, cool. Me. So we've actually got a live match going on right here. Yeah, we're we'll so, actually playing with some of the community guys right now. Yeah, so yeah. we got, got to come a little early. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they're getting sort of their very first look at the game right now. Yeah, so yeah. It, it, it's a pretty cool little set setup that we've got going on here. Yeah. So start by telling us about this map here. How does okay. this fit into the uh, the story of Modern Warfare 3? Uh, well, this is, uh, this is an African map. It's called uh, Village. Uh, it's, it's a semi-large to medium map. Um, it's uh, it's it, a lot of the art in the geo is taken from uh, from single player. Obviously, I don't want to get too much into that because spoilers. <laughs> spoilers, right? But uh, uh, we'll see uh, we'll see these levels in these uh, this level in uh, in the single player. Okay. Uh, we'll also see this uh, in Spec Ops because all of our multiplayer maps are playable as survival maps in Spec Ops. Awesome. So we'll see it there as well. And so he's yeah he's playing right now. I think we're uh, this is a game just started. Uh, they're playing a game mode called Kill Confirm. Okay. Uh, what it is, it's a new game mode that we've added, and it's actually one I think so far that people have really gotten excited about. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, the sort of the feel of TDM, which is, is if you play online, is right. the most popular game mode, right? <laughs> Makes has sense. been forever. People love Team Deathmatch. Right, they do. And what it is, is it's the same thing, two teams uh, uh, killing each other. Uh, the, the, the main thing here is instead of getting points for actually killing them, okay. you do get experience points, but your team doesn't get points for that. Huh. So what happens is when you kill somebody, they drop those dog tags that you're seeing. Uh, and so there's red ones. That's, those are dog tags that a teammate of his dropped. Yellow ones are ones that an enemy, that an enemy would drop if you kill an enemy. Okay. Now what happens is you pick up those dog tags and that uh, bumps your score. And uh, Vince is, you know, doing great right now, and he's losing 37 to 14. <laughs> but uh, happens, happens. Um, so she, let's see if we can see him pick up tags, but he keeps dying. So everybody, that's <laughs> you can see how this works. So the two tags, you pick up the yellow ones uh -huh. that get your team points. Okay. You pick up the red ones, which are your teammates' tags, uh -huh. and you deny the other team from picking oh, from getting points. Oh, okay, I see. So. Uh, and the way it works too is, is you get you get XP for killing somebody, uh -huh. and you get XP for picking up a tag. You also get you don't have to pick up your own tags; someone else can pick them up. Uh, you can pick up somebody else's. Uh, if that happens, you both get XP. So okay. it's not like you're not like stealing anything from anybody. It's not you know oh shit you sold my tags. It doesn't <laughs> right. really matter. Everybody gets the same amount of XP. But the key is is to get the uh, uh, to get your team score up by getting the tags. So. A t a bunch of different new types of, uh, of uh, uh, strategies that seem I'm, to I'm already up. starting to think of yeah. ones in my head, like different positions. You've got you've got the killers and the mop up guys. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that actually ties in really well with some other game modes uh, uh, or some other uh, changes we've made. Um, in that we have uh, uh, the new. We should get into this. The new strike package system. Okay. And I think we'll show it a little bit more when we show create a class. Sure. But there, one of the strike packages called support uh, allows you to uh, to to move your your streak bar without uh, having to reset on death. So okay. I can I can get a kill, I can die, I can get a kill, I can die, I can get a kill, I can die. And as long as I'm as long as I'm getting kills and or objective points, mm -hmm. so we call them point streaks now instead of kill streaks. Uh, I'm I'm working towards getting the the various kill streaks. Now support it's more like support oriented kill streaks, so it's UAV, counter UAV, uh, SAM turrets, some other stuff like that. Nice. But it really works out. So yeah, so what we've seen is people like, you get a couple tags down, and then you sit there and you wait for someone to try to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, you know, take them out. Try to take them out. <laughs> yep, there's kill cam again. <laughs> What are, what are, you know, I obviously mentioned like the, the killers and the mop-up guys. What are some yeah, of the yeah. other strategies that have developed with uh, Kill Confirm? Um, the, I, I guess the other, the, uh, besides that, you have like the rushers. Oh, yeah? So what they're going to do, is what they often do, and a lot of times they use the support because dying's not going to kill their streaks. Right. So they just run in and grab as, try to grab as many. They know they're dying, so mm. they're just, they're just <laughs> sprinting in and hitting tags. 
and uh, um, usually you know you pop a tag or two before uh, before you get killed. So and I've seen it where. Uh, well done, James. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a guy kills somebody, uh -huh. and he's going to grab the tag. Somebody kills him. Now there's two tags, and then it just keeps it's like a doggy pile of tags. Just sitting there. <laughs> and one lucky guy just gets to come in and swoop in and nice. grab them all. Nice. Yeah. Um, we need to get this game filled up. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more uh, players in this match. So during the uh, time we have between matches right now, why don't we go ahead and take a look, uh, Mark, at the creative class. Sure. Uh, all right, so you're in the new creative class right now. Uh, lots of new stuff to go over. If you stay right here on the screen for a second, one of the biggest things that you're going to notice is you have uh, level bars on your weapons. Oh, OK. So every weapon has experience that you can gain for mm -hmm. by using it. Uh, this sort of um, replaces the system that we had in the previous game where uh, all your unlocks were via challenges and that was kind of an awkward, it didn't necessarily flow very well as far as uh, uh, leveling up your weapon. Uh, it didn't feel like you were leveling up your weapon. Right. It felt like I'm, do I'm playing with the silencer so I can get this other thing. Yeah. I don't like using the silencer <laughs> but I'm using it. Uh, so what we've done is we make it basically so every weapon just basically has XP, okay. and you're gonna you're gonna level by using it you're gonna level up. Go back to uh, proficiencies. One of the new things we've added also to weapons is proficiencies. So the idea here is again it, it unlocks when you level, but you have various proficiencies that sort of customize your weapon and your mm -hmm. weapon feel even more. Mm -hmm. So as you can see as we go into a game. <laughs> Uh, he picked kick. Okay. The kick proficiency means when you uh, fire, your weapon's not going to kick up as much. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and there's other ones like focus, which means when you're getting shot, mm -hmm. uh, your weapon often you know comes off target when right. you get hit. Well, what focus does is it makes it come off less. Oh, okay. Uh, attach two attachments is also in there, which was bling before as a perk, but now it's in here as a proficiency. It's called okay. attachments. Um, uh, there's a few others uh, we can look at maybe on the next time we get a chance to look at Trace Lab. So what the map we're looking at right now is uh, called Resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes place in Paris, also from the single player. Out there with the Eiffel Tower, you almost saw for a second there. And obviously we're playing Domination here. Uh, one of my favorite modes. Uh, it's an old favorite. Yeah. I've, I, I would talk to people who love Domination. There are two types of people that I know that play Domination. One that just just charge the flag That's and me. want that flag. That is, That's me too. I, I run to the flag and I instantly go prone on the ground and yeah. hope nobody notices me. Yeah, exactly. I love the flag. I want to be with the flag <laughs> as much as possible. So I'm constantly doing that. There's other people uh, that uh, the flags just become points where people go that they can kill. Right, right, right. They're, they're like fly traps. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but it's still it's one of my favorite modes. Now this actually looks familiar to me because um, a week or two ago at Gamescom, I actually got to see Spec Ops Survival yep. on this map. Exact same map. Yep. It's a great map. This is, one, this is actually one of my favorite maps. Uh, it's got a, it's just got a great flow to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things we did in the last game with maps is we really tried out a lot of stuff with with various vertical, uh, uh, basically verticality is what we call them in the office, but a lot of different height that you had to pay attention to. So a lot of times when you come around a corner, you have to look left, you have to look right maybe, uh -huh. and maybe forward. But in, in Mario 2, we had a lot of maps that in some places you had to look up, down, right. left, right. You know, you had, you had a, a harder time taking in the, the <laughs> yeah. targets. And so that actually what it ended up doing is slowing down your flow to some extent. So uh, what this map does, we still have some verticality in here. Uh -huh. But it's been reduced to the point where it all, you, you have uh, you don't have to worry about as many other things huh. when you're worrying about the vertical moments. Interesting. So it's a really well done map. Uh, again, like I said, one of my favorites. It just really has a great flow. It's kind of a small to medium map. Right. Um, but uh, it's really fun. Uh, he's using uh, he's using M4. Nothing new. What else are you using new? Anything? Okay, he's on assault package, so okay. like we we're talking about support strike package where you don't reset your streaks uh, when you die. This assault is the familiar Modern Warfare 2. Right. Uh, you, you know, you go as far as you can. When you die, it resets back down. Uh, and uh, we put in a lot of new assault uh, actual kill streaks. Right. But um, uh, and we also actually to, to talk about that is. 
one of the things with Modern Warfare 2 is, is there was a lot of uh, get your get some kills, uh, throw up some AI thing that just <laughs> kills everybody, and then you know get some more kills off that, and etc. So one of the things we've done in, in trying to design some of the new kill streaks is we still have a, have the AI kill streaks in there, but we've actually tried to when we're coming up with ideas is do ones that, that are what we call player driven. Right. So the player has to actually do something to get those kills. So an example of that is uh, the juggernaut. If you've seen any of the any of that, uh, you can actually call in a, a care package that has a juggernaut suit and put the juggernaut suit nice. on and you're an actual beast. While we're on the subject of kill streaks, I feel compelled to ask you the nuke is it, does it does it make a return? It does not make a return. It does not make a return. Yes. There's a lot of stuff actually that we took out. We listen, you know, bowling generally, you know, Rob Bowling 402, uh -huh. for those who don't know. Uh, <laughs> the world famous 402. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, you know, he actually does have a lot of communication with a lot of fans. Uh, and, uh, and it's one of those things where we, we, we do have a lot of fans, so I feel bad if someone feels like they don't get listened to. But right. we're actually really trying hard to listen to a lot of people. Um, and so some of the things that we took out from Modern Warfare 2 are the game-ending nukes. Uh -huh. uh, we took out the uh, uh, OMA. We took out Commando. Uh, we took out Marathon. We took out Lightweight. Those are things that we felt made hurt gameplay to some extent, uh -huh. or or at least changed it in a way as happy with. Right. So they're, they're they're basically perks that we felt we had better ideas for. Okay. And so and we actually brought some back from COD 4. So there's some. Uh, like extreme conditioning is back. Mm -hmm. uh, over overkill is back, uh, which is two we two primary weapons. Right. But uh, yeah, another thing is shotguns aren't on secondaries anymore; they're on primaries. Oh, okay. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that that we did that was uh, uh, you know basically listening to what the community had to say and trying to improve on what we have as a game as a whole, and then also add and be able to add new stuff. What do you think, when people finally get their hands on it, in fact, maybe now that the community is getting their hands on it right now during these matches, yeah. what do you think the big surprises are going to be? Um, hmm, the big surprises, I think there's a couple, I think the changes to uh, uh, the strike packages, uh -huh. or the or kill streaks as they were called, right. are now called strike packages, uh, I think that is going to be a, a big a big surprise for people. Um, it just gives it such a new thing. Right. I think the weapon leveling is going to be, is it, especially for people who only get to play a little bit right. for a couple hours today. They're gonna they're gonna start to realize the sort of uh, the uh, the love of you know, leveling things <laughs> right. uh, that the gaming world seems to have. Um, and so I think they're gonna be really excited about just being able to level up weapons. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there are, you know, there are, you, you earn things for doing that. There are, re there are reasons to go out and level a bunch of weapons too. So uh, I think also I think so, I think the new game mode is going to be surprising. You know, we put in a new game mode last game as well. You know, demolition. It just really didn't. It was too. I think it was too uh, much of an ob objective only. Okay. And not enough uh, uh, sort of movement and strategy. Like TDM had. The reason people love TDM is. It's simple to get into. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a flow that changes. It's not like a continual trying to do the exact same thing. Um, and I think kill confirm gets you a bit of the objective, and it also gets you the the style and feel of kill confirm plus the accessibility of kill confirm. Right. Uh, uh, sorry, of TDM. So I think that's going to be. I, from what I've been hearing, people, that's been a pleasant surprise. They really like playing kill confirm. I think uh, the other thing, once people get actually some hands-on for a while, mm -hmm. is balance. Yeah. Uh, uh, we really spent a lot of time paying attention to balance on this game, uh, whether it's from uh, explosive damage and how, how effective it is, uh, counters to explosive damage. Um, so uh, I, I believe Vince has actually left that game yeah, so we can sure. spend some quality time here with the creator class. Go ahead and let's just let's just draw, dive let's, straight in here. Let's look at uh, strike packages real All quick because right. we've been talking about them. <laughs> so here's the assault you can see on there. Uh, these are the new kill streaks under assault. Um, got a few in here that are uh, again are really player driven. So like Reaper, assault drone, uh, AC-130 as people remember mm -hmm. is player driven. Uh, Juggernaut, Osprey Gunner. 
uh, Predator missile. Um, again, a lot of stuff that you have to do yourself. Yeah. IMS is a new thing that's pretty cool. It's basically like a, uh, a giant claymore. Okay. Except that it, it or a, uh, do you know what about you know bouncing Betty? Yeah. It shoots right. something up and then flows down like that. Nice. Uh, but it has four of them on it. And so you can set it somewhere, uh -huh. and it'll go off, and it'll kill somebody. Right. And somebody else will come, and it'll go off again. <laughs> so it's not a one-time use. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, we want to go back out to special, uh, sorry, support. So here's the support list. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people are scribbling all this down. Right, right now. exactly. Uh, again, a lot of these are less, they're less uh, um, direct damage oriented. There's a lot of stuff here that supports uh, the, the team as a whole. Mm -hmm. So ballistic vests, for instance, you can you throw this down, it's a bag on the ground. Oh, okay. Everybody can come up and they can grab a ballistic vest out of it. Nice. Basically, it gives them a little bit of extra health for a small amount of time. Okay. Uh, airdrop, trap, airdrop trap is one <laughs> that I've, uh, not hard, easy to say, one that I've uh, been having a really good time with today. Oh, yeah. So I was playing with the community and they haven't seen it yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm dropping it. To them, it, it looks like a care package. <laughs> right. And I pretend to defend it. Uh -huh. And then they come up and go, oh, I'm going to get this oh, care what's, package. What's it going to be in here? And then you hear it and they blow up. It's freaking great. <laughs> nice. So much fun. So it makes you a little, a little careful about it. A little treat for the griefers out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, recon drone's an interesting one. That one basically, you have a little mini uh, UAV helicopter. Uh -huh. uh, you, you toss it up, you go around, you're, you're marking targets, and then all your teammates can see those guys through the map. A um, couple of other ones. The Juggernaut, of course, is in there. Ju that Juggernaut has a riot shield because, you know, the Juggernaut suit wasn't enough <laughs> right, protection. Exactly. Well, uh, he also has a, a, a mini radar around him. So it has a small, tiny little bubble of radar. Oh, so okay. it's really good to stick stick with them. These guys, honestly, the juggernauts have been, early on, we, we got these guys in, and they have been uh, a really fun game changer. Right. Uh, and even over, like I said, even over here, we've got guys using it. Um, and you'll see a team of guys get behind the juggernaut and sort mm -hmm. of support him. Because the juggernaut's moving through up front, and he moves really slow. Yeah. And the rest of the team is actually moving along with him and supporting with him. And, uh, and it's great, and it, it it takes a little bit of teamwork on the other side to take them down. Right. Uh, and it's a re it's so it's so much fun. You'll see like a, a game mode going on where the uh, this juggernaut fight breaks out, and it's like that's what people are paying attention to right. at the moment. Uh, but it's it's a it's amazing fun. Let's uh, can we take a look at some of the weapons yeah, and maybe sure. some of the attachments? Sure, sure, sure. He's actually got one selected right now. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. It's called a PP90. Uh huh. Uh, it's a Russian submachine gun. Oh, okay. Uh, that the, the special for their special forces guys use. As you can see, we have some returns uh, from ones that you're familiar with. So the UMP is there. Uh, the MP5 from COD4 is back. Nice. I have that in here. Uh, P90 is back. Fan favorite. Yeah. Uh, the PM9 is a Japanese gun. It's a. Uh, it's basically like an Uzi. Oh, nice. Uh, it actually, I think, is is based off of Uzi Tech. Uh, and then we have the MP7. MP7 is interesting. That's a uh, weapon that when we talk to a lot of Navy SEALs, mm -hmm. that's actually what they prefer to carry around in uh, room clearing situations. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a great little gun. Holds 40 rounds, and it's a very small bullet, but it holds 40 of them. Um, but they love it. Uh, that's SMGs. What, what else can we take a look at here? In the, uh... Uh, let's go into assault rifles. Um, cool thing here, actually, is we have some weapons that don't uh, don't exist. Don't exist. Yet. <laughs> uh, they're uh, they're um, brand recently released to uh, the military okay. to, to to evaluate. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them here is the CM901. It's basically made by Colt. It's okay. looking to be the replacement for the M4. Oh, wow. But uh, uh, as well as the ACR is in there as well. It's a 6.8 caliber version. The CM901 is a 7.62 caliber, which mm -hmm. is bigger than the M4. But um, uh, so it's, a, it's more of that heavy hitting weapon. Right. Um, and again, the ACR 6.8 is also a higher, higher caliber gun. Uh, Mark 14's in here, the EBR, as, a, as the, the single shot. So, much like the FNFAL from last game, or the G3 from COD4. Uh, AK-47, of course, is back. Uh, G36C is back. That oh. was in COD4. Uh, and then the bottom one's a really strange gun. It's called a FAD. Yeah. I mean, besides looking really <laughs> weird, it's, a, it's actually a Peruvian. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know if they meant to do this or if they somehow got it wrong, uh -huh. but the clip goes in at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> oh, weird. So it doesn't go in this way and it doesn't go in this way. It goes in kind of that way. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, uh, let's check out some of the attachments on some of these. Did you guys get to go uh, we didn't, but we can, you can see them all there. Everybody gets a chance to see them. Uh, impact is is the uh, more damage through soft materials. Okay. Uh, focus is the one where you, you know when you get hit, mm -hmm. it reduces that flinch. Breath is an interesting one where basically, you know how snipers, you know when they pull up the scope, they yeah. can hold their breath. Uh huh. But what we've done is we've added as a as a proficiency the ability to do the same thing with your your assault rifle. Oh, okay. So in COD four, this is a big difference that maybe some people will notice. COD four, when you held your weapon up, ADS, it had a little bit of a sway. Right. Uh, and that really helped keep it from being a laser gun. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Modern Warfare two, there wasn't any sway. Oh, okay. So we brought the sway back. A little more challenge. And that's a little bit more challenge. And I think I think people have really so far have really taken to it. And they nice. really love it. But breath allows you to hold it steady just like you do on a, a sniper all right uh, and then stability is uh reducing that it's the way we were just talking about uh you want to just pick one and move on to this is a list of our attachments for assault rifles uh another thing actually about the proficiencies is there there are some similars but there are there are some unique to each class okay so for instance uh the whole breath is unique to assault rifles but on smgs they have uh one for enhanced range uh, and quicker melee so those are those are choices that you can pick on there. Nice. And all, they all have a bunch of different ones. Actually, go to uh, uh, yeah, back to attachments. You can show attachments here too. Sure. Well, oh, actually, uh, yeah. So no, this is good. This is good. So some of the, some of these again, everybody's gonna be familiar with. The silencer isn't gonna change. <laughs> We're not gonna reinvent that really. Yeah. Uh, one of the new things that we have here that's really cool, and it's called a hammer scope. Okay. And it's made by uh, Leopold. And it's basically a, what we're calling dual scopes. Oh, okay. So you've seen, you may have seen this in some of the uh, the trailers. I know the the single player trailer that we first came out with mm -hmm. had a uh, a dual scope on an assault rifle. It was a different ver one of this. That one had a, 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 a reflex optic on the mm -hmm. front and then a uh, 4x magnifier behind it, and you could you could flip them up and down. Mm -hmm. What this has is the is the 4x as a scope, and then above it, sitting on top, is a reflex scope. So you can go in between the two. So now oh, I'm, wow. I can I can have my ACOG, uh -huh. or I can go into a reflex and okay. have my red dot, as people as we call it in here. Nice. So, uh, it's really fun. Um, I, it's funny is uh, I remember seeing in the in the community people going, oh, they, they, there was a uh, uh, a thing about dual scopes, uh -huh. and and there was uh, in real life, mm -hmm. and uh, community members were. Pushing it out there. I wish they would do this in a game. I wish they would do this in a game. We're going. Oh, shit, we already have that. So, <laughs> nice. There you go. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, jump back into another match? Yeah. Check out some of these uh, attachments in action. What would you guys want to see? Um, what can you kill things with? All new stuff. If you could just load it out with new stuff, yeah. that would be good. Just make sure you don't. You know what you're doing. <laughs> I blame the team for the last one. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and check go out to the hybrid, hybrid side. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, Basically turned Vince into a crash test dummy here, just testing <laughs> yeah. all new technology. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we got it. This is a great. This thing is pistol. great. And uh, so there's going to go akimbo on akimbo on the machine pistols. So if anybody's wondering, uh -huh. no no akimbo on shotguns. No akimbo shotties. <laughs> that's Important. good because I those were the bane of my existence. Yes. And yeah, and they're not secondaries, they're primaries now, so. So a, new, a bunch of new perks. Uh, Cold-Blooded and some of the other perks got sort of changed around a bit. Okay. Because uh, we have new stuff in the game, so right. we had to kind of re rework those. Um, and as you can see, there's he's kind of running through them pretty quick, but uh, yeah, we'll come back to it. Yeah. yeah, we'll come back to it. Yeah. Let's get you in game. So he's going to be using the CM901. That's the new Colt weapon. Uh, hybrid scope. Uh, the FMG. And we're waiting. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to get into uh, into dome. Would be good just to show some new locations. Yeah, so this is Dome. Uh, this is actually the map that uh, was featured in the Spec Ops trailer. 
Oh, okay. So when we showed the Survival Spec Ops trailer, this is actually that map. This is one, This is our smallest map, mm -hmm. so this is our sort of rust. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than rust, maybe, yeah. but uh, it's a little more... Uh, it's, it's a little, you can be a little bit more tactical. Uh, It's not um, every grenade throw kills six people kind of thing, what, like what, Shipment was. <laughs> shipment, yeah, yeah, that's the one. I remember doing 18-player um, domination matches on okay. Shipment, and you would just get like 12 grenade notifiers on your screen yeah. at any given moment. Yeah. It's pure chaos, but one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in Baltimore. It actually is. It, was, it really was really fun. Um, and it, it, But it was like, it was sort of like, I remember playing because you're, uh, you're playing these modes, and it's, it's you're actually you know really playing. It's it's, a, it's a hard and intense, maybe. Right. And then you have this sort of moment where you're playing shipment. <laughs> it's like oh, it's a break. Right. I could just kind of goof around uh -huh. and have fun. It was it was it was really fun. It really right. kind of broke it up and uh, took some of the seriousness out of it. Sometimes. It's all about I think uh, spawning and then backing up right. and waiting for the spawn <laughs> right in front of you. Yeah. So you can see he's on a dual scope. He's got the, uh, he's got a <laughs> simple knife <laughs> kill there. Yeah. yeah. It's quick and easy. Wasn't looking. <laughs> Always check your corner. And then flipping him down to the holographic side. So how does the actual scope switching work in terms of He's just of pressing uh, left on the D-pad. Oh, okay. So, just like uh, like you would switch to a grenade launcher, he's just switching back and forth between the two sites. Now, have you guys done any sort of significant changes in terms of like the the display or the interface? Um, I, I seem to remember in uh, Modern mm -hmm. Warfare 2, you had the XP bar at the bottom, but. Uh, yeah, we had that in COD 4, we did not have that in Modern 2. Oh, that wasn't? Okay. <laughs> I'm mixing up my That's okay. Uh, I'm not going to call you out. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, th th I think the biggest change, honestly, from what we're seeing right now, and this is something that uh, a lot of people have asked for, uh -huh. is on the right, you see, now the problem with Vince is he's not going to get enough kills to get any kills <laughs> over here. But if he did, we would see on the right, He's got a li he's got the, li the icons for each of his kill streaks that he has oh, available, okay. and there's a little uh, a little indicator next to it that shows how many points he's earned oh, uh, in order to get to the next kill streak. Now, also wh what that does is he can move up and down on the D-pad mm -hmm. and select which kill streak he wants to use. Um, <laughs> there you go. When I die. Good job. <laughs> this is a hammer scope. What do you have it on? Uh, MP5? Yep, MP5. Ooh. Double kill. Oh, uh, throwing it. Ooh. Uh, right to the face. Yep. Sorry, Vince. Oldie bit of goodie. Uh -huh. um, as you see, he's got the custom reticle on, on the, uh, on the ACOG part. Uh, so what we're doing right now, obviously, is for people that don't know, but I'm sure everybody knows, we're playing Capture the Flag. Uh, we changed the rules up from Marvel for two. Um, it's actually very similar. It's similar to the Black Ops rules, where it's uh, three flag caps in a round, and that round. Oh, nice job! There you go. And there you go. <laughs> um, you know, it's three kills, or sorry, three caps. Rounds over. Uh, first team to win two rounds wins. So you don't have. One team's got 12 captures, and the other team's, right. you know, trying to spawn. Yeah. Uh, so you can see on his now the support. You can see that he's uh, his on the bottom right over there. You can see the little tick marks. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's got three points so far. Uh, that's another actually important thing. Important thing is we're not calling them really kill streaks anymore. They're more uh, point streaks. Point streaks because. You don't have to kill someone to move up your bar. Okay. You, if I if I capture a flag, it moves up. If I you know in Dom, if I capture the flag in Dom, if I complete objectives in general, that actually is moving my my streak as well. Hmm. And then uh, uh, so, so we're not rewarding just the people who are doing great on KDR, or, yeah, or yeah. the expert campers. 
We're actually rewarding people who are playing the game. That's We're good. We're trying to play the objective. Um, Yeah, I mean, in my personal experience, all of my major kill streaks were sort of me just sort of hanging back, picking people off from afar. Yeah, yeah. that's good to see. Well, su support will help you with that. Okay. And and the point streak system will help you with that. So people will actually get you know get rewarded for doing the objectives, and uh, and then support of course. Support it supports two things. It supports um, the player that maybe just never could get kill streak, right? But it also actually supports a good player who's just very aggressive, uh, and and so for instance, I'm I'm generally a very good player, and I can and I can be in the top two or three people in a match, but I'm a very aggressive style. I would never usually get kill streaks because um, uh, I I'm just I run in, I'll take out two guys and die, and I'll just turn around and run right back in. I'm, I'm glad the executive producer of the game plays just like me. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, he dropped an air drop. Did he almost pick it up? Or? Oh, I mean, that would have been funny. It's so funny too because you're you're on some other part of the map and you hear that the, there's a noise that it makes that right. everybody hears on the map, and it's just like so good, cool. <laughs> very satisfying. Vince continues to do well, and yet his teams just aren't having much luck. No. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can do some TDM. Yeah, let's get some yeah. underground going. Underground would be good. So obviously, see also we have map voting, uh, which was different from the uh, Modern Warfare 2, where we just vote skip. Now okay. you see you have a choice, and whichever choice, whichever uh, uh, map gets chosen, gets chosen. Did you show off the FMG nines on the last? One? No, no, I'll, okay. I'll uh, bust them out on yeah, this one. Yeah, I want to see those. Yeah. these are great. Yeah, this is a, uh, sure. it's a, it's a, it's a fold-up pistol. <laughs> uh, machine pistol. Yeah. So it's basically a Glock 18, uh -huh. but it's inside this contraption, and uh, uh, it's just really cool. We have an airsoft version of the office, and I just sit there and you open it, close it, open it, close it. It's so freaking cool. Uh, I think we're Sounds up. cool. Yeah. Boat, boat swing in between. Uh, people want to play resistance. Underground people want to play Dom. Underground. Come on, people. This is like a <laughs> like watching the Republican Democrat poll. <laughs> poll. Come on, team. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, it'd probably be best if we could just uh, back out of this and see if we sure. can't get into one with a, a map that we haven't seen yet. Okay. Right back in. Yep. <laughs> we don't have a small group of people playing. That's so. true. Yeah. That's true. So there may only be a few games up. Securing Alpha. Oh, this map is going already. So we've shown Dome, we've shown Resistance, then we've shown Village. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice little animation whipping them out like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Now, what, what do people need to know in terms of these weapons, what's, what's the best strategy? Do you have short range? Yeah, these are absolutely short range weapons. I mean, they're, the they're, the, they're in the same sort of class that the machine pistols from the last game were in. Uh, they're like mini submachine guns that have a very, very short range, but they can fire a lot of bullets really quick. Okay. So you, you come, you know, you come uh, rolling around a corner and you've got your assault rifle out and you've got his, his FMG9 out. He's probably gonna if he can get if he's quick enough and he gets the trigger going, he's gonna take you out before you get a chance to really hit him. Um, again, part of the whole balancing is that thing can't hit anything from a distance, right? But up close, it's great. Nice. We're a custom on this red dog. This is one of the uh, one of the weapons where we got uh, the Colt actually came out and brought it to us. Oh, really? We got to go down to the, the local police station and uh, use their range and fire it. Really, a lot of fun. Great weapon. That and then the uh, 
Remington guys also came down and they took us out to Vegas and went out shooting out oh, there. Oh, really? Nice. Also a lot of fun. We have some uh, some of their weapons too in here that are uh, sort of secret <laughs> uh, in the sniper uh, sniper rifle section, which we can show you when we get back to the creative class. Yeah, let me know if you guys want me to hop out. Uh, you can try hopping out if we can get in there. Yeah. See if we can take a look at another map. Thirty weapons you want me to look at? Maybe look, give you me a chance to check cycle. a look at the creative, uh, sniper rifles real quick. Uh, so these are the sniper rifles that we're having in the game. Uh, obviously the Barrett's back. The Barrett? No one would allow us to ever ship a game without the Barrett. <laughs> I, got, I got to fire one of those once on a, on a press <laughs> junket. Seriously, I fired it once and it bruised my shoulder for a week. I'm not even kidding. That thing packs a punch. Yeah. Not one of my greater memories. <laughs> Uh, you do it again. What's that? I would. I'd yeah. do it again. Yeah. I'd be like, yep, I, I'm bruised. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> That's uh, fun. Yeah. Uh, L18. Uh, this is a British rifle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually the rifle that currently holds the longest kill oh, really? uh, record. I think it's like a kilometer and a half. Wow. It's some ridiculous amount. Is that the Canadian guy? Uh, could have been. It was either Canadian or a British guy, yeah. Really done great with that though. Dragon off, of course, is back. Uh, AS50 is a new, it's another 50 cal. Uh, semi automatic, single fire. Um, the RSAS, this is a, uh, uh, a, a brand new, this, the last two are actually two brand new weapons made by Remington. This one's uh, a semi automatic, uh, similar to the Dragon off, let's say. Mm -hmm. And then the MSR is a bolt action, larger rifle. Those are our two new ones. LMGs or uh, yeah. TriMatch tri LMGs. LMGs. Uh, L86, we've seen this before. MG36, we've never actually had this in uh, a Call of Duty game. It's the, it's basically the MG, uh, uh, sorry, the G36, but the, oh. the big barreled M machine gun version. Uh, the PKP is the latest, uh, some, um, sorry, uh, LMG that the Russian Special Forces guys are using. Mm -hmm. Um, then we have the Mark 46, which is a is basically a paramilitary version of the M249. It's a shortened version uh, for for paratroopers. And then the a favorite M60. <laughs> nice. Um, Let's see, let me build a uh, LMG class real quick. All right. So you can see he's got some different proficiencies there. Uh, yeah. He has speed, which allows him to move faster. We're not showing in here, but there's uh, uh, the camos that are listed here aren't the ones that are in shipping in the game. Okay. Um, but uh, one of the things cool, one of the reasons the, the little bar on the on the weapon is kind of fun is uh, you let max out a weapon uh, and you get the gold version of that oh, weapon. Oh, nice. So, nice. Yeah. Gold is back. <laughs> those. That's how you know to stay away from those yeah. guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one other thing, actually, we didn't take oh. a look at. I'll talk about it, um, is the specialist class. So uh -huh. we, we did assault, we did spec off, uh, sorry, the um, support. Specialist class is basically, um, it's one of those ones that really skilled players will really find interesting. Um, and when I say interesting, is it doesn't out of the box seem necessarily like, oh my god, this is amazing. It takes a little bit more thinking, a little bit more strategy, but when you do put the effort into it, it's really good. What it does is it basically allows you to, um, every two kills, yeah. you get another perk. So another perk becomes active. So normally you have three perks. Uh, when you get two kills, you get a fourth perk. You get two more kills, you get a fifth perk, up to six perks. If you get eight kills, you unlock all of the perks on your character at once. And you basically become a superhuman jerk. <laughs> uh, but again, it's one of those ones that uh, it, it, it's unlike Assault, which has a lot of direct damage. You know, call in a helicopter, call in a predator. Uh, this is just makes you as a character sort of become more powerful. And I always think of it when we, when we first started playing with this, it, it was kind of like the, uh, uh, 
it reminded me of the Street Fighter, right. the bar. You know, the bar fills up, fills up, <laughs> so you can do your super moves. Yeah. That's how I kind of thought of it when we started pulling it. So in, in terms of like, you know, everything that you guys have done, changed and added to the multiplayer, is there any sort of like overarching mantra that you guys you guys tried to stick to? Yeah, the, the, the big thing when we first sat down, there were two really big things. Yeah. Two like, uh, like just like you said, mantras. And, and that's what we came up with first. Before we did any weapons, before we did anything else, it was, all right, one, we have to make the gunplay feel great. Right. Uh, and I think uh, COG 4 had great feeling uh, guns. It, it, you know, the weapons all felt really good. Uh, I think Modern Warfare 2, the weapons felt a little the same. And so a big thing that we want to do is make sure that weapons and perks and all the stuff that you, you have is one, balance, but two, feels good, and three, uh, gives you a variety of play styles. So I, that I, when I play with an SMG, I feel like I'm a different person than when I'm playing with an assault rifle. Um, and so that was a really big, important part. Balancing the weapons and making sure that they feel really good. And that the gunplay in general was really fun. That is the core of, of a shooter. Right, exactly. And that was what Makes I sense. feel like we needed to make sure we get that right. The other part, the other mantra that we had was, was this, uh, Sort of thing we called your Call of Duty. Awesome. So what that meant is let's uh, do a lot of work towards a, uh, making every game style and play style fun. So that, like, you know, we were talking about if I want to rush in and, yeah, I'm going to rush in and die, but right. I'm going to take two of you with me, uh, that's a style of play and it works. And now we make it so that you can play that style. There's a lot of other things in that mantra that we did that's not just even necessarily in, specifically in-game related. Mm -hmm. So we have um, uh, a new private match set up. Now, private match um, is actually really popular online. People really like enjoy playing it. And I think it's just because it's, you could get just your friends. There's, the smack talk is with your friends, so it's a little bit different than in live. Uh, and you can do silly things. People, we had uh, a lot of people who were just like, okay, let's play sniper shotgun only, you know? And and they would just play TDM that way, or let's let's play, you know, keep this point. So what we've done is we, you know, we've added a lot of that to private match, and add a lot of new game modes to that, that people can create their own game modes, and then with Elite, that will go up, people can see the game modes, copy them down to their box, they can vote on them, and we'll actually put those into the public playlist. So that's really the two big things. Gameplay balance, gunplay, has to be fun and uh, your Call of Duty, customizing your experience. Awesome. Well, Mark, I'm sure a lot of our viewers would love for us to just keep playing this for five, six, seven hours, but we don't want to spoil everything for everybody, right. so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. But okay. real, real quickly before you do so, yeah. remind everybody out there who doesn't have the date circled on their calendars <laughs> when Modern Warfare 3 is going to be out in stores. So you need to ask off for work <laughs> for November 8th. 2011, the end of this year. Excellent. I, I, should, I should point out right now that Vince finally won a match. So. Oh, yeah. yeah excellent. Pulled it off. Excellent work there, Vince. <laughs> All right, everybody, just a reminder that we've got a lot more great coverage of uh, Call of Duty XP coming your way over the next few days. There's a lot of crazy stuff here. We're going to do a lot of fun videos, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching.